This is the kitchen. This is where I, I was set up. I'm, For over a month, this Sacramento home has transformed into both an office and classroom. Okay, so here's Belle in her bedroom. Would you say has it been easy or has it been hard learning from home in your bedroom? I don't like seeing videos of my teachers. I'd rather be with them. So it's just, it's hard, but it's fine. Her working parents becoming teachers overnight. Everyone's just trying to figure this out. Distance learning wasn't anything that the teachers were expecting to be thrown into their lap. We didn't have any time to prepare for moving into distance learning. Today, we sat down with California's head of education. With some school districts only now beginning to teach from afar, he says there has been some loss of learning. The summer represents a great opportunity for doing that. Some school districts are already planning Saturday academies, virtual Saturday academies that will allow for addressing learning loss. The superintendent's plan to help students now includes expanding access to the internet and laptops, launching virtual support meetings, and hosting webinars. Wait, what's your planning process overall for the future versus now? Well, the reality is, is that we want to commend families for doing social distancing and doing all the things to keep our kids safe. We need to continue to do that until we've gotten an indication from all of our public health experts that it's safe to return to campus. And so we will start to think about what the future of education and when schools will reopen will look like. And we'll have some updates as we have information there. For now, we want families to know that we're focused on providing as much support as we can to help get through this school year, to help get through the summer where we'll be focused on, you know, addressing summer loss. In Sacramento, Marley Martinez, KCRA 3 News.